the open budget survey na research instrument we dey for assess public access to central government budget information how the public they take part by national budget process and talk about the role of budget oversight institutions them and look at other era them pam budget process the budget survey report they look at budget process na about 125 country them with saloon na one of them the open budget survey report 2023 look at three key area them we get for do with transparency pam budget process public participation and budget oversight but within a saloon scorecard na den three area them ya budget advocacy network ban na the country expert for the international budget partnership abubakar kamara na the national coordinator for budget advocacy network talk about saloon performance na the 2023 open budget survey report na the area of participation and transparency for transparency salon move from 45 to 55 women say salon move up by 10 places however for let a country um, say it they provide enough document to the citizens them for let the whole government accountable the county for score above 60 so even though progress has been made by the government yet still much need to be done for let they will reach the pass mark of 60% citizen participation it dropped from 31 to 20 because and it dropped for a number of, of reasons for the EAO look at, there was no adequate notice of the citizen that government can do the budget. For example, for Poland publish the budget cost cycle at least one month before the budget discussion, publish the timetable for which each ministry they come to the budget discussion, and also the aspect of providing feedback. Because if citizens don't participate in the process and then there is no feedback for you to tell them how much they incorporate their input or whether they don't incorporate them, they discourage participation. So for participation, it drops from 31 to 20. Now, the era of oversight, according to Abubakar Kamara, the open budget survey report look at two key institutions them when a parliament and audit service saloon. And according to Ram, parliament underperform for get trend to transparency and accountability from budget process. On the area of oversight, it remains the same when a 46 upon 100. But that 46 upon 100, it assess two institutions then. The first institution where they assess na parliament. That is the staff for look at to what extent parliament they provide adequate oversight on the budget. And for parliament, we see say a really a, 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 a dropped and move from 33 to 30. Of course, there are a number of reasons around that name. We see one thing where the survey assess. Now the role of PAC in whether they provide in all in this be accountable on how they use people resources. We see over the years um, they do not produce reports on the general report and we also see some years they do not conduct, conduct air hearings. So all land they contribute for like it dropped from 33 to 30. All the survey they own score in terms of the role that they play for provide oversight on the budget and move from 72 to 78. And the reason beyond that is we don't the see now audit service they now incorporate citizens then suggestions them. Now audit service they go around and ask citizens them what the one little audit and then they assess the information they incorporate some of them and audit them and then we also don't see the role that they play in terms of bringing more information into the audit um, report so audit the oversight of audit service they play increase from 72 to 78 part of the recommendation Abubakar say ban the recommend to government and budget stakeholder them for get trying to open budget and public participation budgetary process but how important open and accountable budget they to government dr ayla ramadi now the deputy director budget bureau ministry of finance it is in the interest of government to pursue a, a budget that is open to, to pursue the open budget agenda because it helps to gain the trust of the citizens by accounting to the citizens how revenues are raised and also how subsequently what we do with the money um allowing participation in the budget process ensures that government allocates resources better as citizens can influence you know government programs which therefore helps government to achieve the development goals and also achieve effective service delivery which is one word that we, that has been coming up it also helps government to mobilize more resources it's no mistake that you have development partners in the room these people are very they they really want to know what to do with the monies that they give to us yes. dr ailara madisi Minister of Finance, they implement program there now for improve the budget process like gender and children budgeting. 
Liv Ellen Edwinton, now the Deputy Representative Program Section UNICEF Saloon, call on budget stakeholder them for consider picking them when they prepare them budgets. As UNICEF, I always like to mention um, the promotion of children's rights, and it's very important, including in budget discussions to take into consideration the situation of children and we know that uh, children or a population under 18 years old is uh, around 40 percent in the country so uh, it's a significant part of the population that we're speaking of and we want them to have the best possible uh, opportunities for development because they are the future of the country and we want them to be become adults that can contribute in significant ways uh, to continue to build the country. Wani Mitchell, now the IMF country representative for Saloon, start for talk about the importance of planned budget to national development. A well-planned budget is supposed to strategically allocate resources, encourage investment and savings, promote business growth, reduce economic and regional disparities, improve food security and nutrition, provide quality education and health, support public sector enterprises, strengthen defense capabilities, and much more. Wani Mitchell believes a national budget na reflection of challenge them and success with any country they face. Budget statements also give a flavor of the constraints and challenges the country faces. For instance, how are political and economic developments in the external environment affecting the country? One can consider the impact of Russia, the war in Ukraine, and the war in Gaza and the effect it is having now on supply chains and the prices of food, fertilizer, fuel, and much more. The IMF country representative say, even though the country do well, now the open budget survey 2023, but encourage authority then at the budget sector for improved transparency and accountability from budget process. The scores presented today on the 2023 Open Budget Survey indicates a welcome outcome that progress has been made. The government should be encouraged to continue its efforts, particularly with regard to public participation in the formulation of the budget. Many thanks to the Budget Advocacy Network for undertaking this important work. As the IMF country representative talk about the importance of transparent and accountable budgets, budget advocacy network ban and partner them as sure salon people say they will continue for work with minister of finance and other budget stakeholder them for improved budget transparency and accountability for the society for radio democracy musa kamara